um, lazy day, you go to the library, pick up the book for March's book club. And I'm gonna check my P.O. box. Since I do pay for it, I don't use it all the time. I mostly get mail from other people. I've had it for like a couple years now, so I'm like, why am I still getting the mail? I'm gonna say, what else was I gonna do today? Uh, oh, buy some food. Yeah, that's really it. So unless something else plant changes, then I'll go do that. But still, I just wanted to do my face. And then I'll do a mask later. Calm it down, not really do anything else. Um, so with that, uh, face has been moisturized. Uh, was it sunscreen? I did do a separate video on the sunscreen I love to use. So this glow is from the sunscreen. I did my eyebrows. I did a little eye makeup with uh, I really need to clean this. Uh, Natasha Denona. You're not gonna be able to see anything. I realize. Let's see. There you go. I'm using a different settings today. And I use those for the eyes. That's the mini Bebo palette. I do like that a lot. I did try to do eyeliner. I was gonna use the Morph eyeliner and lock it, which I like. It's blue, it kind of goes with the shirt. However, I'm realizing it. I thought it was the mascara that was doing it, but it's the eyeliner. Any eyeliner I'm doing, it ends up under here. I don't know how to not make it do that. Cause I literally put it on after doing my eyes and me watching TV and coming back and it had come down here. So I wiped some of that off. You may see faint bits of it. And then just uh, used one of the colors in there and powdered over it after I removed it. So I need to, again, I'm still new at this, know how to get it to stay there because I have oily lids and not come down here and make me look funny. Because I did notice that yesterday while I was out. And that one, did I use a black eyeliner? I don't even know. But I did notice it later. Nobody really said anything. Um, so yeah, I just want to learn to be less self-conscious because of things like that that I don't know how to do on these videos. Other people's videos, they're like, oh, I do it. And it stays, and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? So if you subscribe, share, what have you, leave comments after you like the video, and tell me what I need to do to get it to stay on my oily lids and not creep down like here. That's, I don't know how. So that'd be grateful. Um, I'll make, ask my makeup friends as well, but that I would love to be able to wear eyeliner and not have to worry about that. With that, I digress. So what I'm going to do is start with pharmacy. There we go. Using this primer again from Precious, because there's a lot in here. I'm not overusing it. I'm putting more because it's clear and you just don't feel it. You can't really see it. shave my head soon so because of the setting hopefully I'll be in focus most of the time because it's focused on my face what is that though okay. and I'm gonna try a new retinol tonight as well it's the uh, Sunday Riley um because I've been using a uh, not a generic, but a, I won't even say cheaper, but more financially responsible one. And I have another one that uh, I was gifted. So I'm gonna use that tonight as well. Uh, just cause my skin, the way my skin's been feeling. So today I'm gonna use a corrector. This is Black Radiance. It's the orange. There's a lot of different kind of corrupters, colors, depending on skin tone. And let's 
a little more than I actually put on. So I need some of that over here. Oh, someone's making noises because that's what it does. I've never been tired lately. I mean, other than just work making me feel tired. But I have a doctor's appointment this week, so it's been a while. So she likes to uh, do blood tests. So I'm sure she'll test for whatever iron levels because I used to be anemic. Um, and that's usually, that's been resolved, but you know, maybe magnesium, something like that. I've had that problem at one point too. But she likes to do tests and I haven't seen her in a while. The only reason I had made this appointment back in November was because I needed um, a sleeping medication, that's prescription that works. I had run out and well, but they would give me another prescription. I was like, I just need a few for the appointment. Was if I made an appointment, of course, they make it seem like, oh, Come in like you know a couple of weeks or this week we can get you in. Oh no, can't get you until February. And I'm like, I won't be able to sleep till February. Is that what you're telling me? So they gave me a refill. They gave me like three refills. I'm like, um, that's a lot. I almost don't have to go to this appointment if that's the only reason you want me to come in. I only suspect it like, and I only take half a pill anyway. It, it works, otherwise I'd be like, well, then told them it doesn't work, so. And I've never actually tried Tylenol PM, but I get headaches as well. So I'm like, is it gonna knock out the headache and help me sleep? Darkness right here, so I definitely didn't need that much. It's usually just right there. So I had a little overkill for that section. Blend it in so it doesn't show up. Since I did put so much. I don't know how my stomach's growling. I'm trying to think. I ate. I'm trying to think when did I eat and how long has it been? Because I've been watching TV. The show I like is called Disappeared. Where people obviously disappear and, you know, they talk to the people, the family, you know, on what's going on in their lives when they did disappear. An episode I saw was a rerun, but um, I like that the show's very, I don't want to say cognitive, they, they think about, okay, how does this person identify? Because this particular person was uh, born male, but considered themselves a woman, so... And were gay, so they referred to this person as she, per family, per how this person identified. So I, I appreciate that. Um, one thing about the show is sometimes they never find them, or they do an update and finally find them, but it, it's rare that they do, so that's why the show's a little depressing in that sense. But um, I do like the show. There's a new season, and then I haven't seen any new episodes. I also watch um, See No Evil, which is also a good show. Uh, those, they usually, they find the person, or let's just say body. In the end. But, you know, they can see what led up to that. I'm just trying to blend it out so it doesn't show orange. Okay. No, some people just put concealer and can go afterwards. Which I'm going to try that one day. For right now, I just wanted to do that. Okay, that took longer than I intended. So, we'll speed up with other things. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I have a sample. Uh, it's just what I wanted to try. Uh, it's MAC. People oh, can't see that because it's in black. Um, while I was at Ulta trying to get shade matched for Juvia's Place, New Radiant Foundation, um, the MAC lady, who's a person of actually a black person, black woman, she uh, 
was uh, was shade matching for this. I didn't need a shade match for this, um, but you know sometimes you don't know the system, so I figured maybe she's trying to gather from this what my shade would be. I know this is too much on the top, um, but I guess at that current store they didn't have all the shades they were supposed to get of Juvia's place. So she's like, I don't think I can even match you properly. I did show a picture of somebody else that shade matched me, which was a Latina person, Hispanic. Uh, by the way, this shade is NW50, which I can also wear NC50 as well, which is cool. And I'm not a cool undertone, um, but I have matched with that as well. Am I using sponge? No, I'm not using sponge. Anyway. So she matched me. She pretty much confirmed, mind you, when I was matched with the Mac before I was not by a person of color uh, at all. So the fact that they were on point, that was good. I'm going to spray my brush as well. Anyway, so. She matched me with this, and I was like, and they can give samples of that. They don't, you know how Sephora gives you samples. And usually they, you can't do that with Adulter. But now certain brands, they can. And Mac is one of them. So that's a tip. I think this orange is definitely showing through. So that is a mistake on my part. Not blending more or putting too much. Maybe the concealer will help with that. Anyway, so I did show a picture of me being matched to this place in Tanzania. And she goes, yeah, you just use your other makeup. And it'll, it'll, that can work, possibly. So it's good to know. Let's see if I can see the orange on camera. Sometimes I can't tell versus here. Yep, stomach because definitely, definitely got to get food while I'm out. I purposely ate so that I wouldn't put off eating well to do this makeup. Okay, what beauty sponge so I can absorb you know, was too much and push it in. I think one of the frustrating things is, is some of these makeup stores, they don't either have a person of color or at least a black person, an Asian person, Chicano, Hispanic, Latina, um, who can help color match or at least have employees who are familiar with other skin tones other than their own. And so that's why I ended up going to three, maybe four altars to get color match with Juvia's place. Before, um, one didn't have any black associates whatsoever. Another one, I don't think I saw one in there either. And another one I know had at least two, but every time I, of course, for this purpose, they were not working that day. Or I called a different day. They weren't working that day. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, y'all don't seem to understand what the plate is. What's going on here? And then it's like, and then they're also not familiar, you know, with new products. Or they're like, I didn't know we had this in the store. It's like, it's in your store. Know what's in your store.
So that's frustrating as well. So yeah, just me. I think Tintin is gonna be it, but uh, it was just a frustrating journey of trying to find the shade um, that it shouldn't be. So I'm using um, Minted, their new Brightening Concealer in, where's my box? In Happy Hour. Because I've mostly just got it, is why the box is very available for me to grab. I'm only doing a little because I really just. Yeah, that's a chill day. Um, but yeah, because I, you know, getting better at makeup or whatever, I'm able to figure out my shade a little bit better. But if it's a brand new product, I don't know anything about. Um, and with Julia's Place, sometimes it's, they don't have all the shades that, they have a lot of shades, but sometimes you can't really tell or there's not a description. So. This is going to be... Fenty Beauty in the color Espresso. I am for right now. I'm going to just go right here and go higher than I've ever gone. Nose, because I always do the nose, and that nose was very crooked right there. Yeah, these are very wide. I've done better, so that's why I'm like, um. Kind of day is going to be apparently and then let's see here do, do, do. and we're going to use just a little damp and take a little let's start with here so you usually don't use it damp but then maybe I'll help blend. Because it's full coverage concealer. Edges. But it's definitely I've used it a few times this week though. It's definitely my go to right now for brightening. Usually I do the three. You do that today. Maybe with the um, bronzer, I'll do that.
But yeah, um, doctor's appointment. Figure out why I'm tired. Vitamins, I'm also 44, so. Could be perimenopause. Oh, so if it is, it's like, okay, well, just tell me. I'm going to... Seems very harsh, that's why I'm trying to. Blend accordingly. And because I am getting physical activity when hiking last week, so it's like, I know I need, I need to go back to yoga because it's also de-stressing. Um, so it was, yoga was good for that. And last year was my year of less stress. Um, by doing a job switch, it was definitely that the job I currently work at is, it's not very stressful, at least to me. Um, it's, I mean, it's doing what I love to do. It's something I'm familiar with. It's what I used to do before I started working in law enforcement. Um, even though, you know, law enforcement, I was, you know, not like out in the field or what have you, but it's still, you know, it, it was either short staffed in the different stations I worked at, or it was just a heavy pressure job, which I can do it. And I enjoyed doing that. It's just, it was just, I didn't have a social life. So last year, the, having a different job, finally had a social life. And then part of the stress of that social life, um, some of the people involved cause stress. So I kind of had to pull back from associating with some of those people and still trying to keep up the social life aspect of it or just de-stressing. I had to be like, okay, you are causing this unnecessary stuff. stress. I, I, I gotta, yeah, I can't. We, we can't be around each other right now. So, with that, so as I got that on my hands, so I'm trying to get on that. Uh, Laura Mercier, just set. So I was enjoying the things I did last year. Some of the people, like I said, some were causing more stress that I wanted to deal with. And it's like, I enjoy doing these activities, but I'm like, I can't do it with these people. And so, you know, when you get older, it's harder to find, make friends and find people who like doing those same things. So I was like, okay. Um, So this year's, what am I trying to do this year? Is more growth, not just for makeup, and fulfillment um, by maintaining and having relationships that are mutually beneficial. That is my goal for 2023. Um, so going on these hikes with the outdoorsy women, black outdoorsy women, um, outdoorsy black women, that's what it's called. Um, I just, it's, it's just beautiful just being out there in nature with black women who understand your plight, your position, or just know what it's like being a black woman in America today. Um, that's why I'm not the most outdoorsy person, but I enjoy going on those hikes. Um, 
I could just, we just laugh and have a good time. And people I probably would have not met otherwise. Because, you know, black people do hike. And when I've hiked with other people, it's like, okay, it's very far in between. But with all us together and us out there, they, they got to see we're out here. We hike too. It's like we ski, uh, swim, gymnastics, wrestle. Uh, Black History Month is coming up, so by the way, <laughs> so remember that that we are not mon a monolith, and we just. But it's just that experience is just awesome every month, or when we when we do it. So it's just you know by having beneficial relationships that can help with my health as well. And there's Juvia's place, by the way, Bronzer. And we're gonna do with Ulta. And so I just need more relationships like that because you know, you live longer, you have better relationships friendships and the mother used to call me Howard Hughes um just because I'm one of germophobic to an extent um and then not wanting to be around people because people are nasty I'm sorry they are um I used to work at the morgue and when you find bodies in people's houses you're like mm -hmm. some of the things that you would find <laughs> it's like okay <laughs> So it's, and I just, I used to have a lot of really good friendships, uh, friendships, relationships, what have you, that's Amazon, it's not for me. I didn't order anything unless somebody ordered something for me, um, which I don't, only a certain group of people know where I live, um, for all types of purposes. Anyway, and I just, I miss some of the relationships I used to have when I was younger, my 20s, 30s. Um, that were important to me. Um, over Christmas break, I got to see one of my friends I haven't seen in like 23 years. And that meant more to me, that friendship, rekindling our friendship. Um, and more to me than any friendships I've made, like maybe 10, last 10 years, last couple of years. Um, because it didn't matter anything I've done or accomplished. Just like at the core, he knew who I was. That did not change, regardless of what's happened. Anything that's happened in my life, good, bad, um, makeup, no makeup, eyebrows, no eyebrows, he doesn't care. Those type of friendships, um, just people who know who you are on the inside, regardless of what has happened. No matter how many years have gone by, that is what I, I and why I was glad I got to see him. I did not set anything else. Um, but let's set the rest of my face. And of course, La Mercier Medium Deep, as always, goes everywhere. So it was it was good to see him. And so it's just And just kind of reminded me that I need to touch base with those people who are still around. Because, um, I used to be a person who said I love you all the time. Uh, if you're family, for sure. Um, but friends, I've lessened up over the years because I just, it's just used too much. By people, and I'm like, okay, but this is your, what you considered love is, this is the way you act, kind of thing. And so I just, like I care less about people as well, but in the sense of, some people you just kind of have to let go a little bit. 
and I care generally about a lot of people. I definitely care about people in general. Um, but time-wise, sometimes I'm like, I can't give you my time. And I'm a person, I would film set, day job, making a movie. If I had five minutes and you needed something, I would give you those five minutes. I would make sure I was there for you kind of thing. Um, over years, it's like, okay, not everybody's like that, unfortunately. Or uh, it's just, it's unfortunate that you have to realize that. And this is new la la la. But I know if like if I really needed somebody or something like that, there's very few people I would go to. So I'll just, I'm just gonna use a primer, lip primer. I didn't obviously, but I had that gloss, so it's fine. And this is like a semi matte, which is awesome. A little bit of paint with the liner. I was gonna put gloss on, but. I don't want to. So, of course, it looks good like that. Um, what I'm going to do now, let me spray before I do anything else with my eyes. I think it's like 60 something today. It was cold this week. And then, I'm not going to do that yet. Oh. Yeah, then I said eyes. I'm not doing anything with my eyes. Mascara, that is what I'm doing. Okay, so I was like, what am I doing with my eyes? So let me just look at this real quick. Do I want to put lashes on? I'm going to do lashes today. Yeah, I'm going to do lashes. So, I'm going to pause, do my eyes. I'm going to put mascara on first and do my eyes. I'm going to record me doing my eyes. And then cut accordingly. We're using the BB ones that, of course, you can never see because of the reflection. And then I will edit this all together. The lashes I were going to use, the glue got on the lashes and it was not happening. So I just said, screw it. Um, cause I would have had to get the glue off, whatever. So I used my, uh, Ardell 424 ones that I have that I actually got at TJ Maxx last year sometimes. Um, so I was like determined, so I'm a Libra. I was determined to get some wear lashes today. Um, still had a little challenge with the one. So... Um, I did put a little brown eyeliner on, which is cool, but it's a pencil. So I think what it is, is if I'm using like gel, that's what's causing the issue, but at least it's going to match my foundation and my eye makeup already. So if it, you know, bleeds a little, this color brown is better than what it could be. So earrings, hoops. We can suffer hoops. And of course, makeup is settled by now. And what's going to look like. So there we go. Got my shirt on already. So this is my final look. NW50 hoop earrings. Minted lipstick and nude la la. It's a little brown lip liner, rubble kinds for mix. So looks good and it's, you know, casual. It'll stand a while. So everyone have a good day, have a good weekend.